Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Okay, so let's begin. Um, we're going to proceed. If you want to proceed to the actual reading, okay, the main one, um, you can just zoom right away. Okay, so timestamp that and go for this. Because um, here in the preliminary, I'm going to get each of the zodiac um, by the element and then, um, you know, getting um, you know, how to call the situation. Okay, so for the water sign, here we go first. Okay, let's see. Let's see. If you're dealing with a water sign, you got here Pisces, High Priestess. Okay, so let's see what's the... What's the cornerstone? Okay. <laughs> What's the fine line? Okay. <laughs> with the Pisces that you're dealing with. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Cairo friend. Okay. So the fine line is commitment. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> so things are becoming serious or going to become serious or it's about being official. Okay. Mm. But we'll see. Okay, because that's extended. Um, now let's go for the earth sign. Okay. So let's see what's going on with the earth sign here. Let's see. Dealing with an earth sign, Taurus. Oh, okay. Taurus are really out there. Okay. So let's see what's the situation with the Taurus. Okay. Let's see here. Taurus. Here we go. You got a death card, 1 7. Okay. So you guys had a breakup, a breakdown, a separation, sudden ending. Okay. Um, but definitely something was over, okay? <laughs> Dealing with a Taurus, either you cut them off, they cut you off, and it's abrupt changes in the relationship also. Now, let's go for the Leo, or Leo, because the Leo was there, for the fire sign. Okay, fire sign, here we go. You got a Leo, which is a sun card, okay? I shuffled it, guys, okay? So let's see what's up with the sun card with a Leo. Let's see here. Sun card with a Leo. What's the situation with the Cancerian? The lovers. Oh, all right. Okay. So definitely connecting there. Okay. Loving them. They love you. They feel that connection. It's the soulmate card. There's, you know, basically there's a contract between the two of you drawn to each other from day one. But we will see how it pans out. Okay. Because I always say the lovers is you guys are separated. You guys are not together. Okay. Here we go. Now for the air sign, you got a star card, which is aqua. Okay. So dealing with the aqua, let's see what's the situation. Here we go. Aqua. You got a two of swords, so they cannot make up their mind and they don't know yet if they will choose you or a different route. So you guys are in a crossroads with the aqua. So all of those will get a separate reading in the extended and here we go with your main read. Okay, so this is your main read. Okay, for my Cancerian, this is your main read. Okay, let's see here. The Wheel of Forge. No, oh, wow, that's crazy. No, because I was thinking, never mind. Okay, something was inside my head. No, Jupiter was inside my head totally. <laughs> and I got the Wheel of Fortune. I was trying something because someone gave me a tip on something. And I said, it's like, oh, let me try it. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So it does work. Uh, well, I practice a lot of stuff, and I just wanted to try it out. And this is like, how true is this? Okay. So there can be fated incident between the two of you. There is gonna be a lot of things. Okay. Um, synchronicity. You met someone in divine order, divine timing. Things should go in your favor. You know, Jupiter is exalted in in Cancer. Now, in Pushya Nakshatra, Saturn ruled Nakshatra though. Okay, Jupiter and Saturn are at bros. Okay, so Jupiter is being taught there to be not too much. Okay, too much giving because Pusha is the bosom of the cow. Cows don't have bosoms; they have breasts. Okay, I just don't want to laugh. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm like a fucking kid over here. Because <laughs> sorry, oh. I'm immature. You see that? I'm I'm a light person. In, 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 okay, get out of the bosom. Okay. Okay. So, um, you, you could be being taught right now a lesson not to give too much and balance the energy because Jupiter is about grandeur, expansion, the shebang, okay? Because chances are when you give love, you give it all and, you know, what is left of you? That's called Jupiter exaltation and pusha, okay? It's a hard lesson for consumers, especially if you have that placement because you really tend, supposedly, let's just be clear, Supposedly, okay, because <laughs> it doesn't mean you're doing it, okay? <laughs> mm. Not everybody will be doing that, that's for sure, okay? I've seen Jupiter in Cancer, <laughs> who doesn't give love. Mm -hmm. Here, it's like feeling winning the jackpot, winning the lottery, okay? Ten of Swords, okay, that's not the lottery right here, okay? I feel like you're winning a ticket to a new life, a new beginning, okay? So this is what's done. You know, the Wheel of Fortune goes up and down. So something here went down, okay? It's called the elevator shaft Solange, okay? Because that's betrayal. We know what happened, Jay-Z. Allegedly, or whatever happened, we know the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm, Queen B. You shouldn't have just lying, okay? So with the Wheel of Fortune here, what? supposed to end has happened already you have to accept it in order for you to accept the new blessing that is coming your way okay so there's new blessing mm -hmm. you can also be relocating because the center story is about going into a new place a new horizon others here is ending a career uh -huh. with a tennis story of fortune because that's your money right there you feel like giving up also like i'm so tired so i'm so tired because you're, this is like you roadkill with your fortune. Um, some are very stressed about their coins also because they feel like it's dead end. Okay, every time it's a dead end, it's not really. Well, it's easy for me to say because <laughs> I'm not at the dead end. I'll bring you out. Okay, because I know you're feeling that it's the end. It's the end. So, two of pentacles can be with your coins, really. Okay, if it's not, um, you're giving up on someone or they're giving up on you because someone has no time. Two of Pentacles is like, I don't got time for it. I don't got time right now, you know. So someone is like, all right, you have no time. It's fine. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Mm. So uh, there's one person here could be dealing with someone who has, who is so focused right now on their dreams. This is, they're in their fifth house. Dreams, aspiration, whatever that they want to do. Things that makes them happy. Two of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. So you're basically feeling it's like, all right, then if they're doing what makes them happy, then I think I need to do also what makes me happy. Ten of Swords. So that's definitely a crossroads right here. Two is a choice, okay? So either you or this person is having a choice, you know, it's like you guys would choose it, which route to take now. One person is giving up. One person is like pursuing their own dreams right now. Eight of Wands. So there's still going to be more communication between the two of you. Travel is involved with the Eight of Wands. Okay, let's see. It ain't over, B-I-T-C-H, that's what they're saying here. Because the Eight of Wands with a judgment, by the end of the day, the Wheel of Fortune will say, we control time over here. Faith has decided this already. We might want to think that we have free will. That is choosing if you want to have lace or ruffles or Pringles, that's your free will. Okay. Other than that, for you to conceive a baby, they already planned who's going to be your baby, <laughs> okay? So, judgment comes, judgment calls, the pressure cooker. Both of you will communicate again. Now, it can be, oh, we're going to come back together. It can be also like, oh, we're going to separate now. And Sammy, judgment calls. It's only crossroads. 
Okay? Eight of Wands, you guys will talk. This communication will clarify all the confusion because why the other person has no time? Because they're doing their own thing with the Two of Pentacles. Why is the other person giving up? Because they just want to start a new life with or without you. Mm -hmm. So now, what say you with the judgment? Because this is two people never going to look back. Once you step into the judgment, it's the world card. This is when, let's just say, you know how you, like, we all have access, right? Once we close that door, it does close. And there are people that, they say, the door is always open. Freaking one way, no entry, okay? Keeps coming back and forth, okay? I like that. No, not that I like that, but my door all of a sudden moved. Weirdos. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so it's a freaking door. So you got a swinging door or it's like a one way exit. So we'll see in the extended if you guys go through the door together or is this like a separate doors that you guys are going to be talking about. But this is about spiritual growth also. Eight of Wands is like you guys will have your own spiritual journey. They will have their own spiritual journey, but not together. That's what it is because faith has decided either you guys will be together mm -mm, or not. Okay. Alrighty. So. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Okay. For personal needs, it's right there. Personal hygiene, it's at CVS. Okay. Paki like, paki share, pa utang, patulug na. Okay. <laughs> salamat, uh, salamat pagi. Okay. Sarawati crap. And I'll go for the top, for the Pisces with a, with a commitment card here. The Taurus that has ended the connection all of a sudden. Um, the Leo who's so in love with you. And the Aqua, who is in a crossroads right now. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Two, two of Swords. The only crossroad card is Two of Swords. I love it. This is, this is called the crossroad card, right? Uh, I'm going to think, and I have to choose. No, it's not yet over. Something will happen because you guys are prolonging this so that you guys will decide. Mm, that's why. So, reconciliation, working it out. With a Pisces, with a Hierophant, okay, this relationship, Eight of Cups, 